so we had tonight? The night went really well. I think Mark's work was stunning. People are completely moved and attracted to their work. Um, he had such great support from his family and his friends and his collectors, and from many new people as well that strolled in for the opening and that are regulars who attend the gallery evening events. And it was really fun. There was great conversation, and to be able to just you know watch so many people look at Mark's work and experience it and have Mark to talk to about his work too has yeah. been really awesome. And I think that everyone else would agree too. Cool. Um, if someone hadn't seen his work at all, would you kind of give us some of your objective experience? Would you explain it to us? A lot of people haven't seen his work because this is such a brand new body of work that I think only his closest friends and family and some fellow artists as well had the opportunity to experience the levels and depths of um, this particular series. And people are so amazed by it. They're moved by the portraits, um, the message that the portraits communicate. Um, it's a very strong one, and I think it's a very relatable message to support throughout change, and that's, I think, a big aspect that Mark's trying to communicate through this work. And then the technique, the medium, the application, the methodology, these are all things that people notice right away, and they can understand, which I think is very special. Oftentimes, when people aren't familiar with art, um, they look at an oil painting or a sculpture, they don't know how that artist got to that point. They can't um, visualize because they're not artists themselves. The steps and, and the medium and the thought process. But with Mark, um, this particular body of work is very understandable, um, both emotionally because of the layers that make up as human beings, but also the technique being um, the fact that the resin is such a large component and that it's clear and that it, it does reveal the layers and the medium that Mark puts in. And so I think that it definitely keeps people interested. They don't just walk in and look for a second and, and walk away, which is what you get anywhere. You get that at museums and at galleries and even in your own home if you have art up. In this case, they're looking at the face, then they're looking at the expression, then they're looking at the, the uh, additional attributes that Mark brought in. And then they're like, wow, how did he do this? Let me look from this side, let me look from that side, let me stand back, let me get up close, let me look from above, and so on and so forth. So like the interactive elements, I, the true readability of the work that resonates with so many people, I think, is what keeps people on that level. And, and people have just been loving it. And it's uh, hopefully, you know, it's rewarding for us to see that, and I'm sure for Mark as well. Cool. Um, what kind of art does the Living Gallery uh, normally display, and how does Mark's work fit in with that? We try to focus on three different um, criteria. We look for portraiture that's um, very emotionally charged or driven and in that case we do believe that Mark's um, work does fit that qualification. Um, imaginative realism is another thing. We like artwork that has um, some surrealistic elements, some fantasy in, in the lighter sense, um, just anything that comes from the imagination and that also explains Mark's body of work downstairs very well. Um, there are surrealistic elements. There are, there are hands that are coming out of places that kind of remind me of, of Labyrinth, um, the helping hands, and, um, that one scene where um, I think Jennifer Connelly is, uh, she's, I don't know if she's going up or down, I don't remember at this point, but um, you do have you know, also his stylized elements that I think add a level of sophistication and also kind of talk to that more whimsical aspect that pretty much falls in line with the imaginative um, strain of work that we like to show. And then finally we really try to bring in work that has intellectual roots, um, some kind of depth, um, some historical properties, anything that you have to learn more about before you can truly understand the work. That's very important because we as people aren't just surface. We are always there to contribute more than just what people see. And so artwork is an extension of the artist. And so with Art We Show, we really want to make sure that people can, if they want, but not everyone wants to learn, but those you know, who do, there's so much material beneath the surface. And I think both Figuratively and, and visually, that fits the bill for Mark's body of work uh, materialization as well. Cool. So. Um, and uh, I guess, have you worked with Mark before? And how particular, how particular did this show come to be? Mark and I have known each other um, for a couple of years now. I think we've both been watching and, and admiring um, each other in our creative um, settings. I was directing at another gallery in Manhattan, and he was doing his own art, as well as having his fingers in a number of incredible projects um, on panels and doing workshops and just doing so many amazing things. And so I've always been connected to Mark. And when I opened my own gallery, his work that he was working on at that time which was a bit more illustrative, it was a bit more narrative, really fit, you know, one of the criteria that we typically show. 
So we did bring Mark in for a couple group shows, and they were really great, and he created amazing paintings. And then one day, he started this new direction. And I think that this new direction really embodies where he wants to be as an artist, and where he feels most, not just passionate about, but most honest with. And he brought some of these resin works with him to the Illustrators Master's class in Amherst, which my husband and Haven Gallery co-owner Joseph attended. Um, Mark was there doing portfolio reviews and Joseph was there to learn and Mark had these resin pieces and Joseph saw them and he was blown away and he called me immediately and he's like Erica you have to see these he's like we should really be doing something with these they're amazing blah 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 and of course I saw images of them but because of, of their dimension and their multi-level properties it was really difficult to understand how significant they were and so he brought them home and I saw them, and immediately I had to call Mark, and I had to ask him what he can do um, to show with us um, with this particular body in a larger capacity. Because with work like that, it needs to be seen. Some artists, I understand, want to stay to the internet and just have JPEGs float around and, and maybe make some sales that way. And that's said because artwork should always be experienced. But in this case, when you have these multiple dimensions and you have this sculptural quality that will never be you know, understood through just JPEGs alone, it has to be exhibited. And it's not just the medium, it's, it's the subject, it's, I think, the personal power and just being that Mark himself put into this work. And so Mark was like, I could do it. He had already started a group of pieces and it was just a bit more time than he needed to finish the series. And he did it, and here we are. And they look beautiful. And again, everyone's been moved and stunned and amazed. So, as a gallery owner, how do you feel? Uh, what's it like to see someone come in and see their first reaction to the piece? It's probably one of my favorite parts. You really get to understand. Oh, sorry, I should I have to think about that question? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot about doing that before. Being able to sit at the front of the gallery uh, during normal gallery hours and just be at openings and experience people walking in and seeing them experience artwork is one of the best aspects of owning a business that is an art gallery. Um, everyone has a different reaction, everyone has a different um, personal um, experience or experiences that they always will project with the artwork that they see. And with Marx especially, because what we all understand more than anything else is the human face. We look at our own every day, we can read certain expressions, others are more uh, mysterious, but nonetheless, it's something that I think everyone is perpetually fascinated by. And Mark truly really captured the facial expressions, and I think the emotion and the experience of his sitter at the time that he uh, drew them. Some of them I think, come from friends that have modeled for him, and others were actually pulled from um, drawings he did at one of the local coffee shops in around his home. And so it's an instant draw for people to come in and see a face, uh, especially a face that's interesting, not just in the way it's executed, but in the expression and in other aspects that are brought in to further enhance the face. So where you have these more stylized elements, um, like swirls, things that maybe you're not quite sure what they are, they could be part of some kind of headdress or maybe they could be part of some garb. You really don't know, it's a bit abstracted, but then you have um, just the face itself and you have other elements that I think really, you know, tell a little bit of a story, but just a little bit. So the person who comes in can experience it themselves. And, and again, they can apply their, their personal tales and their own life onto the work. And, you know, again, that's just one element with Mark's work. Because then they say, wow, what is this? How does this work? And then they typically have questions. And that allows me to share Mark's methodologies and Mark's experience as far as who he is and what these portraits mean. And, and they really strike a chord with people because it's a universal concept how we're all made the layers of our experiences. And although as humans, it's not visible as it would be in these resin works, it is something we all understand about each other. And at the end of the day, you know, very complex people. and you know it's just nice to kind of see the embodiment of that concept in physical art and so I think Mark did it. Awesome. Um, one more repeat question. Yeah. Yeah. So Mark's resin works are unlike any other work we've exhibited at the gallery. We've had other artists who have used resin but it was more so um, either in a finishing application or just in a, in a smaller um, amount. The dimensions weren't as significant as they are in Mark's work. And 
What I really like about Mark's work especially is that it's such an experience. It's interactive for the viewer. They have to walk all around the work. They have to experience from the top to the bottom, to the side, to the um, other side, from farther away, to come up close. And then even looking at the show as a whole because each piece has a different shape. Each piece has a different level of depth. And so I really like that because people, as I mentioned before, can understand the technique of it. It's not so abstract or, or academic, and it's therefore not as intimidating, and I always think it's very important for people to feel comfortable around art. They, they should have a reaction, and sometimes a disturbed reaction or an ups, upsetting or angry you know, reaction is good too, but it shouldn't be because they don't understand. It should be because they have some kind of emotional connection with the work and their feeling. And the artist is putting their own feelings into that work. And that's what makes an artist really successful. And I think that, you know, in the way that Mark has portrayed, you know, these individuals, he has communicated that. And the way that he, again, just uses his resin and uses multiple layers of different media embedded in each layer of resin, allowing for everyone to be able to see the different approach from multiple angles. It's just so interesting and it's so beautiful. And it's Again, so significant and relatable that it, it just hits every aspect.